All right, all right, all right. Here we go again. All right, so let's just get into this. This is insane. So, I mean, you have everybody talking from anywhere that it takes too much money to send these people back. That's insane. You know how much freaking welfare they're getting? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely talking about illegal immigrants. So, what is insane is there's like thousands of refugees, or not even refugees, documented, blah, 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 all this stuff, thousands of Muslims that are actually watching in England that is costing them billions of dollars. Do you not think that's not going on here? So, because the funny thing is, I think for less than a billion dollars, you could just get rid of all the ones that you have anything to worry about. It'd be a lot cheaper. Then constantly, you know, sitting there surveilling them, and then, oh, yeah, we were surveilling them, and, yeah, we thought they were terrorists, and then, yeah, they did a terrorist attack. whole thing is you got to realize what our government is doing fully. I'm not saying our government is doing this, but something is doing this, and they are literally taking it. I mean, within hours, days, they're taking it and using it to their advantage to take our rights away. I promise you, we're all... God-loving Americans, we're all good citizens, we all love our country, and we will fight for our country, and the reason that our country is still free, well, that we think that it's free, it's, it's really coming to be not free, and it has been for a minute, but the reason that our country is free is because people are able to say what they want to say, people are able to assemble, people are able to march, people are able to say what they feel, what they want, but once you start taking our media away from us, because guess what, we've all moved away from CNN, we've all moved away from, you know, CBS, da -da. we've moved away from all of that, the New York compost, I mean, give me a break, nobody listens to this anymore, and they've felt us moving away, and that's why, like, these terrorist attacks, I mean, they're just on it, but then, when they report about the president, or report about things, they report how they see it, and what their anonymous freaking things have said, but no way do they report what is really going on. So they still have so many sheeple that are just sitting there. They just have no idea what's really going on in our country. And I can't say that I truly know or truly can say what is what. But when I can see that they've made chemtrails so I can't see my sunrise. And they've made chemtrails so I can't see my sunset. You know, it kind of disturbs me. I, I have a video... And I have a picture of the, you know, take a minute video of the sun. And it's doing some weird stuff. And I've seen many other videos that many other people have made. They've had way better, like, angles. You know, the, these are people in different parts of the world, obviously. Um, but, you know, it's really insane when you start seeing it. And then, you know, from what I've been reading in the Bible, blah, I'm trying. Um, you know, he says when he comes, you know, it will be known in the, uh, in the heavens and it will be known from the sun and from the moon. Well, how in the heck are we supposed to see anything if they literally are hiding it from us? And then on top of that, when you have people taking videos when they're in airplanes, balloons, blah, 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 and you see clouds in front of the sun and clouds behind the sun, how in the heck is that 93 million miles away? Give me a break. How in the heck can you come up 30, 35,000 feet and the sun is two, three times bigger if the sun is 93 million miles away? Like, you know, there are just so many things that don't make sense. You have the astronauts that are on there and you see bubbles coming out of their freaking, their suits. And it's supposed to be the vacuum of space. So think about it. Vacuum of space, crushing pressure. How come they're wearing these rubber soft suits that have a little bit of metal in them? And then you see bubbles coming out of them because they're in the vacuum of space. Are you fucking joking me? Stop being stupid. Stop being lied to. Whatever. If you're listening to this, you're not stupid, obviously. You must have somewhat of a brain if you're still listening. Or you're a subscriber, which I really thank everybody that listens. Awesome. Appreciate all you guys, all your comments. So, when it really comes down to it, the best thing that you can do is show somebody that first lie and show them proof of that first lie. And that's the whole thing. You can only show them proof of so many lies before you have to be like, okay, so you've seen all these lies that I've showed you. Now you got to look up and find your own. And that's the whole thing. Nobody's going to come to understand anything until they look up their own, you know, until they look up lies for themselves. I, you know.
that is the main thing. You can never come to understand or start seeing things until you start to find your own your own things where you can see that it's a lie. It is great to look at other people. They can show you things. It, may, it can help you walk through the steps. But the main thing is, like I always tell everybody, think that I'm fucking stupid. Think that I'm a moron. I always appreciate that. Because if you do and you want to prove me wrong, which is what started me on my path, is I heard something so stupid that I had to prove it wrong. And I couldn't. And it changed everything. So I really just hope everybody, please think that I'm stupid. Please think that everything that I say is completely insane. But when it really comes down to it, you will never be able to see anything for what it is until you do your own research. When you hear somebody tell you something, especially if you think it's the most stupidest, craziest thing in the world, do your own research. Real research. Not what CNN tells you. Like, get into the police reports when they do stuff. Because when you start doing that, you start actually seeing different things from what the police reports say compared to what actually the news tells you. Once you start, and that's just one of, you know, a hundred or a thousand things. But that's one of the mo most easiest things. Look into what the pre police report says, and then listen to what the local news said about it. And right there, you're like, wait, what? All right, well, like I always got to say, um, keep looking up in the sky and keep seeing those chemtrails. Because guess what? They're not normal. They're actually... I can't tell you if they're trying to hide the sun. I can't tell you if they're trying to poison us. I can't tell you if they're trying to make us more magnetic so they can track us. I don't freaking know. But you need to be getting a hold of anything. And when you like, when you go from anything, it will always lead up to the Air Force. And then they'll just tell you, oh, no, I, we don't know what you're talking about. Whatever. 